if you're a gun owner in Natrona or Converse County, you need to watch this video to find out who the pro-gun candidate is in Senate District Number 3. Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here with Wyoming Gun Owners. The August 16 primary is almost here. A lot of you guys are already voting via early voting, and we're being asked by a lot of gun owners in and around this district, who is the pro-gun candidate between Sherry Steinmetz and Marty Ertman? In this video, guys, we're gonna break this whole race down for you and give you guys the information that Sherry Steinmetz is desperately trying to keep from gun owners. You know, guys, one of the questions you're asking us is who's the pro-gun candidate or who professes to be pro-gun? The other question you're asking us is how do we know who we can trust anymore? We've seen over the last year and a half relentless betrayal from rhino backstabbing Republicans in Washington, D.C., backing Joe Biden's gun control agenda. We saw just last month, for example, Liz Cheney voted for Biden's gun control bill, which had almost a billion dollars in funding in it to bribe states into passing red flag laws. We've seen Republican rhinos sabotage the Second Amendment Preservation Act right here in Wyoming just last session, all the while claiming we're pro-gun, we're pro-gun. So how do we know who we can trust? That's a question we're hearing more and more these days. Guys, we're going to answer both of those questions in this video. And I need you guys to know, we do a lot of these videos at election time. This is what we do. We educate gun owners. This video, though, is a little bit different for us and a little bit different for me personally. You see, four years ago, I shot a very similar video talking about Sherry Steinmetz when she ran for this seat last time. You see, Sherry Simons came out of the house and she talked with us at length about how she was tired of the rhinos and she wanted to have fighters go to the Senate to help advance Second Amendment, help advance conservative causes. She talked a really strong game. She surveyed 100% with Wyoming gun owners. Because of those actions, the board of WIGO and the donors, more importantly, of WIGO, spent significant amounts of money in this race telling people about Sherry Steinmetz and her professed support for the Second Amendment. However, within a matter of weeks of her getting into the Senate in Cheyenne, Sherry Steinmetz began to break her promises, side with the rhinos, and basically she utterly collapsed when the pressure mounted from the rhinos in the state capitol. These days, four years later, Sherry Steinmetz has become a part of that clique. And Sherry, when you watch this, deep down in your heart, you know this is true. For those who don't believe me, just hold on for a moment, we're gonna prove it. Before we do that, let's talk about Marty Ertman. Marty Ertman. Marty has been a longtime county commissioner. She decided not to seek re-election for that position to run in this state Senate primary. Marty made a name for herself during the lockdowns in 2020 and 2021, opposing some of the heavy-handed tactics from state and county uh, leaders on this issue, and a lot of you know her from that situation. When it comes to gun rights, Marty Ertman surveyed 100% pro-gun with Wyoming gun owners. That means in writing, on paper, she put her name on the dotted line and said she's opposed to red flag gun seizures. These days, that's more important than ever. Like I told you, the federal gun control bill that Joe Biden just passed, that Liz Cheney voted for, it had almost a billion dollars in funding to bribe states into passing red flag laws. There's a lot of rhinos here in Cheyenne who wanna pass red flag laws anyway. But when you dangle tens of millions of free money from Uncle Joe in front of them, this is going to be a big fight coming up next session. Marty Ertman's 100% opposed to red flag laws. She opposes mental health gun control. They call it Fix Nix here in Cheyenne. A lot of you guys remember this. We killed Fix Nix legislation in 2020. <laughs> and, then, and then the members of Wyoming gun owners killed the careers of every single slimeball Republican who was pushing it. Senator Von Flatteren, gone. Representative Kirkbride, gone. Representative Pownell, gone. All the guys who were pushing this bill, gone. But it's gonna come back up because the rhinos always try. 
And if that happens, Marty Ertman will be opposed to it. She's promised that in writing. She's also opposing uh, mandatory waiting periods. We have a large number of candidates, uh, a growing number of candidates anyway, like Ray Peterson, for example, who support mandated waiting periods before you can buy a gun. It's preposterous. Thankfully, Marty Ertman opposes these mandatory waiting periods, and she also opposes any attempt to ban our AR-15s or ban magazines over 10 rounds capacity. As I mentioned to you guys, she's a fighter. She proved that in the lockdowns discussion at the county level over the last two years. So that's Marty Ertman. Now I told you, Sherry Steinmetz, WIGO members spent a lot of donor dollars to talk about this race four years ago, only to have Sherry Steinmetz collapse the day she set foot, frankly, in the Senate, and she then began to vote against your gun rights. That's why this video is really important to us. Because for any other candidate watching, understand that we don't play like everybody else. We expect you to keep your promises to your constituents, to our organization, and if you don't, you can expect the Steinman's treatment. That's what this is. Sherry promised in writing that she would vote to help us get rid of deadly gun-free zones here in Wyoming. Everybody knows what a gun-free zone is. It's a blinking light to a madman who's trying to get a body count. And we still have a large number of gun-free zones here in Wyoming. We're trying to get rid of them. And we did that, or tried to do that, in 2019, the first year that Sherry Steinmetz was in the Senate. The bill number was Senate File 75. Now, some of the leadership moderate backstabbing rhino class in Cheyenne didn't like the bill. That's normal. They, they never like uh, pro-gun bills. And so what they do is they go around to all the weaklings and they say, we want you to vote no or else. Now, when that happens, you have a large number of champions for gun rights here in Wyoming, and they say screw off to those leadership uh, rhinos in Cheyenne. But Sherry Steinmetz, again, in her first month as a state senator, broke her written campaign promise, and she voted no on Senate File 75. This was, eight, uh, this was uh, January 25, 2019. She sided with the Democrats, she sided with the rhinos, she broke her written campaign promise and voted no on our bill to rid the state of deadly gun-free zones. Shameful stuff. You should have known better, Sherry. 2021, just last year. Let's kind of remember what was going on. This was when Joe Biden was just installed in the White House. We had more gun control bills being thrown at us per week than we'd had in previous six month increments going back. We had the White House cranking out executive orders one after the next. We had a UN small arms treaty was being re-engaged. It was an all out war against gun owners. It's still going on, to be honest. So we knew that the best protection for gun owners here in Wyoming was the Second Amendment Preservation Act. Missouri had just passed SAPA law. In fact, our sister organization, the Missouri Firearms Coalition, did that. We took the same language that they passed in Wyoming, and we drafted that here for Missouri. For, uh, for, I'm sorry, in Missouri, we drafted it here for Wyoming. And this is a big fight because we all know what's at stake here. What SAPA law does it's to say this is our state. We have our own constitution, we have our own taxpayers, we have our own budget, and from that, we employ our own troopers, our own deputies, and our own city cops. Now, we can't stop the federal government from using federal agencies to enforce federal laws here in Wyoming, but what SAPA law would do is say, by heavens, you're not going to use our cops to do it. And by denying Joe Biden that cooperation that he just blindly assumed was his, we would shut down the threat of federal gun control here in Wyoming, just like it's happened in Missouri. It's a phenomenal concept and it has real teeth. If an agency violates SAPA law and helps Joe Biden enforce federal gun control, that agency could be taken to civil court for civil damages. The bill number in 2021 was Senate File 81. We were this close to passing the bill through the Senate. At the last minute, 
the last minute, Senator uh, Hicks does what he's well known for doing as Senate leadership in Cheyenne. He ran a kill amendment on the bill. Now, wh the way this works is they take an amendment, they attach it to an underlying bill, and it goes in there and it guts all of the existing language, and it replaces it with whatever's in the amendment. This is a standard tactic here in Cheyenne. You see, the rhinos know after 2020, and after those primaries and the bloodbath that the rhinos receive at the hands of gun owners in 2020, nobody wants to get in the wrong side of the gun issue anymore here in Wyoming. And so for Larry Hicks, they didn't want to vote no on the bill. Instead, they wanted to pass it after they ran the amendment that gutted it. See how that works? It's pretty smart if they can get away with it. So when the pressure came on that amendment, most, I mean, all of the conservative champions that we have in the Senate voted against it. Sherry Steinmetz, again, betrayed gun owners, and she voted for the Hicks Amendment to gut the Second Amendment Preservation Act. This is Senate File 81, and the date of the vote was March 24, 2021. I believe, going from memory now, I believe it was Amendment Number 2. You'd have to check me on that. But when we needed her the most, again, as all kinds of senators are fighting in the Senate for SAPL law, the entire conservative caucus fighting for SAPL law, here's Sherry Steinmetz siding with Senator Driscoll, Senator Hicks, Senator Perkins, and all the rest of the rhino class, and she stabbed gun owners in the back. It happened again this year, 2022. As you guys know, the fight for SEPA did not end in 2021. That bill did not pass. This year, as you guys all know, we filed SEPA again. The bill was voted down in the Senate by Sherry Steinmetz. This is Senate file 87, and the date was, let's see here, February 18 of this year, SF 87. Now, like I said, the rhinos aren't stupid. And they were, they were concerned how they're terrified that when they voted down SEPA, that was going to come back to bite them in the butt. And so instead, they filed a fake version of SEPA. They ran a fake SEPA bill, which gutted all the teeth, gutted all of the enforcement, and left all kinds of carve-outs for the federal government to use Wyoming cops to enforce federal gun control laws. And they passed that crappy bill. And so if you talk to Sherry Steinmetz right now, she'd say, oh, no, I, I voted for SEPA. What are you talking about? Sure, she did for the fake one after she voted to kill real Second Amendment Preservation Act legislation. Guys, I know it's a little bit confusing, but this is on purpose. You see, this is what they want. They do backroom deals. They do strike after amendments at the last minute. They hold up bills in committee. They do all these little tricks, hoping and praying that we the people never find out. That's why WIGO was here, to shine the light of the stuff, to give you guys the dates, the times, the bill numbers, and the details that people like Sherry Steinmetz are trying to keep secret. Sherry, you got this position because WIGO members selected you four years ago. You did, we, they did that because you made a series of promises that you would fight for the Second Amendment. You've not kept your word. You've betrayed us time and time again. And you should apologize to every gun owner in the district for what you've done. Guys, in the meantime, if you see Sherry Steinmetz, tell her to apologize for voting again and again and again, either against your gun rights or to weaken them substantially with these amendments. And if you see Marty Ertman, be sure and thank her for her courageous stand on other issues and also for surveying 100% pro-gun and publicly promising that she will fight to defend your right to keep and bear arms. Guys, do us a favor, share this video on social media. You can forward it around by email, Twitter, Facebook, whatever social media platforms you use. Help us get the word out. And then, guys, join our fight today. Go to www.joinwigo.com.